promote it to primitive and the original name is cluster which is the attribute uh, that this cluster node is creating as you can see here and that then let's put a for each down so we're for each primitive go piece attribute cluster and then what that will do is loop over each cluster and perform whatever operations we have inside here okay so what I want to do in this loop is create sort of a shape around each one of these branches or each one of these clusters of branches so what I'll do for that is I'll put a bound node which will create a bounds from the um, clusters and then let's remesh that to around um, yeah this is good for now then let's drag out a ray and we're going to ray this um, bounded geo back onto the branches so if we go method minimum distance it will um, each point will go the minimum distance to the original geometry and then you can easily uh, change the scale of this effect so I think in the one I was doing previously it's around this and after that we can remesh again so that the uh, geometry will be more consistent or the topology sorry and then do a smooth with the filter quality 1, strength 100 and then we can do a peak which will just push all of these out a little bit so around there and then feed that back into the end and for each of the clusters it's going to do that so you end up with something like this which if I template the branches you can see it's created these sort of blobby shapes and we're going to use those to scatter the leaves so maybe we can uh, smooth it a bit less or peak a bit more maybe 60 and then peak a tiny bit more 0.25 that looks okay for now um, yeah and then something really important is to do a normal let's make this uh, points then let's put a scatter node down to scatter some points uh, maybe set it to 2000 for now put another attribute wrangle and if you just write aw attribute wrangle will come straight up or pw point wrangle same thing because we're running over points and you can just set the p scale so p scale equals channel because we can reference this uh, from controls on the top level of the node later and just say p scale and then click this to populate um, the par parameters and uh, something like maybe two let me just double check um, and then set this to like 0.5 now before we go further let's just color these again to show it's something we've changed and I'll save um, tree tutorial okay drag out one more attribute wrangle from here and we're just going to set up something that will help with the orientation later so create a tangent attribute v so it's a vector v at tangent equals cross of the normal and let's create an up here so just curly braces to create a vector in there and then just multiply the y value um, and dot y so you'll get the y index by 0.5 so times equals 0.5 and that's just going to help us when we create the orientation later so the tangent is um, tangential to the normal um, so you have a sort of a vector coming around so if I name 
equals at tangent or v at tangent. You can see we've created another vector that's sort of yeah tangential to the normal, uh, hence the name. And then that helps with sort of orienting geometry later. Okay, let's color that as well. And let's now go up here to where the branches are getting culled to create the the points to copy onto. And we're going to use these, but not for the points. So we come to where the orient along curve is and just move these nodes down. Put another wrangle in here. Let's quickly color it. And we can name this um, cull. And so what this quick tree tool is doing is creating a p scale attribute that's small at the end here and larger here to uh, create the shape of the branches. So they'll obviously be thinner uh, at the ends. And we can use this to uh, cull parts of the branches based on the p scale. So if we write if uh, p scale is less than a channel called p scale cull remove point zero point number and don't remove the prints okay let's see so if we cull by the p scale you can see it's sort of shrinking the branch towards its thicker parts so I'll put this to around here all right let's make a bit more space as well all right now let's create another node. Now let's drop one more node, a point jitter, just to sort of vary the positions a little bit. Set this to something like 0.4, color that red as well. Sorry, to color, you just hit C to bring up this little palette here. I should have mentioned it earlier. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drop a ray down here, um, plug this into there, and then we're going to ray this geometry that we created, the scattered points, uh, closer to the branches, just so that the leaves don't look like they're floating midair. And we'll go minimum distance again, and set the scale to like 0.4, something like that. So with and without, you can see they're just like bringing them a bit closer to the branches. And with that, we can copy these to points. And that's sort of the beginning of the leaves there. Uh, one more thing we've got to do is add some random rotations to the orientation of the leaves. You can see it's all pretty, pretty uniformly pointing outwards. So after this ray, let's just drop one more attribute wrangle and let's set up those orientations. So we have our normals here. What we want to do is, based on these normals and the tangent that we created earlier, we will create an orientation that we can then rotate the points randomly around. So let's go and just create some values. So we'll get a an X, Y, and Z, so we'll go, we'll go Y first, so that the this lines up properly with the normals. So we'll go vector Y equals, um, just in case our normal was not normal length, which it should be, and vector X equals the cross of the tangent and uh, y, which is normal, and then the z vector is a cross of x and y. So if we then create a matrix from these vectors, we can go matrix 3m equals set x, y, z. Now, don't worry if you're not following um, with this math and sort of how the orientations are created. It can be a bit to wrap your head around, but um, Matt Estella has some awesome stuff on CGWiki with example files of how these orientations work. 